Man, I never thought that a twilight sky on a Sunday, uh, Monday night would look so beautiful. But still, that's probably the least of my concerns right now. At this time, it's time we got through to game 7 of the game rental theater set. Okay, once again, we're going to be um, focusing on the Nintendo DS. Though I'll give you that now, Advance Wars has been a bit of a um, pain in the rough next to me right now, so... I thought, th I thought for the occasion we'll go for something a little, a little bit more mellow, so to speak. Okay, there's Charlie, we'll get round to you in just a moment. And there's all my stuff, let me get our selection for today. Oh man, this has to be good. Okay, let me bring it up in front of the camera for you. Right, there we are. Lost in blue. Now you're probably wondering, what the hell are you doing with some kind of game that I don't even know about? Okay, to be- well, I, f I found this out from one of my younger cousins. She actually owns this game and I actually managed to get on with it pretty well. The idea of getting marooned on a desert island seemed interesting, but like with Animal Crossing, I was just concerned if it was a bit uh, was a little bit too endearing. Still, see, seeing it have its have its own section at rpgamer.com makes me think I could probably um you know find some music in it and rearrange it before I leave the campus. But still, I I haven't really thought of owning the game as such, given pe people's comments about it being a little bit less action paced and more thinking paced, but. Why? Why the heck are people thinking that? I'm a lot, a lot like a good thinker every now and again. Honestly. But with that in mind, it's time we both up Charlie for the win. Okay. Time we um slotted the game. Both out this stylus. And let's see what in heck we can make of all this. If this isn't good, I know I'm going to clobber my cousin real good. I oh, bloody well hope not. Okay, so here I am ready to demonstrate a day in life. I mean, this is all I can basically do at the moment while I try to get my bearings ready. Yes, I know she's starving. But that's the thing. Still, just like with Advance Wars, we're focusing most of the action on the touch screen. Because as you can tell, all there is on the top screen is just a status screen. And as you could tell by that, we are both painfully hungry right now. So we can easily remedy that. I hope. Hmm, coconuts. Potatoes! Let's see what we can make of this one. They can be a bit harder since it covers the entire fruit and not just the roots. There we go. Seemed easier than usual. See that? You know, this screen requires a lot of touch screen action. I seem to find it pretty interesting that way. But I think it probably depends on whether you, you'd appreciate it as a, as a different kind of gamer or not. Still, if anyone's played Animal Crossing or Harvest Moon, you might be able to adapt to this pretty well. Oh boy, she's getting thirsty, you say. That's something we can easily fix. Still, this is... Pr pr pretty rough simulation, I'll give you that, but... It also feels like a, like a little love story at heart, doesn't it? But I wonder what kind of things that Sky might be seeking for in romance. Yeah, Sky is the female that needed to be told around, thank you very much. And the reason why she can't do anything herself is because she's blind. Wait, she's, she's not blind, she's just short-sighted. Come on, use some... A couple of pieces of green bamboo to take with us back. We gotta be quick. We gotta be really quick. Heading towards the shores again. We're lucky! We found the way back to the beach. We're not trapped for the night. 
Okay, let's see what we can do with our newfound materials. Okay. You know what to do with bamboo and some stones, right? Actually, I got the stones on an earlier day. First, we should actually sharpen it. A nice sharp stone right there. And with that, we should combine that with the um, bamboo to make a spear. Now that we got that, it's time we did some, you know, some fishing. Right. You saw it right there. I have to use my my stylus to try and hit the fish as they show up on screen. Missed that one, but oh well. You win some, you lose some. Right, and we managed to win that one. Welcome home. Okay. Hi, this guy. If we can borrow this beak to her. Oh, oh, I can speak to her with my um, spear equipped. I just will lean forward to get the lights of the cabin around here. Yep, her stomach's just as hungry as mine. Okay, might as well give her all the fish that I've caught today. And we might as well toy in some potatoes and mushrooms to warm. Add a bit of a salad flavour. Okay, looks like she's made something else now. And she still isn't quite satisfied. Well, I better be. Let's see if I can make these. Ooh, a 28% bonus. Why did she make this before? That wasn't fair. Man. In comparison to recent days, I think we're eating like pigs. And I think we could be good to go to survive for the next day. I suppose we'll need to make the fire to try and wrap up the day with. Okay. First time in a while that my finger slipped. Come on, we can do it. Don't mind me while I remove the DS to blow. To make the fire. Sorry about the curtains. Right. Done. Yes, there's a microphone feature in there, so I need to use that to blow into the thing to make the fire. Let's go to sleep and see what kind of results we made out of this. And that's what we got. And this is how we stand. You know, I think this isn't too bad for a day's run. Isn't it not, huh? Personally, a seat is one of those games that um, you might enjoy a lot more if you actually play it rather than watch someone play it. I can't, I, I, I gotta, gotta admit it's been working fine so far, but then again, it depends on the type of gamer you are. To be honest, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm still pretty engaged to see how far I can get off this desert island. I've got plans up my sleeve, and at least it'll help me take my mind off some of the harder advanced wars missions. That's for sure. <laughs> Oh god. Okay, this is Rexy signing out. Episode 7 of Game Rental Theatre has featured Lost in Blue. Okay, hopefully in the next few days I should be able to focus on another game that I might end up with. Would it be for the PS2? Would it be another for the DS? You ask me. Thank you very much.